Hey everyone, I think I'm on a tutorial rampage lately um, since I've had some time to catch up on this channel. I um, got a comment um, that basically requested, and I'll put the link below, um, to show how to do a lined eye that doesn't have the harsh point on the end. Um, I kind of did that in my other video, but this video I'm really going to concentrate not so much on showing the product and the palette and explaining that, but more so on just the technique. Sorry, when you do a liner with the, your liquid liner and you're doing like a cat eye, you see that, that winged part. Um, it's an exact line. Now, this is going to be using liner, but not a liquid. We're using pencil, Urban Decay Zero. Uh, we're also using their purple one, but um, it's going to be blended, blended, blended. That's the whole name of the game with this type of look. Lots of blending. Um, so here, there's no, um, you can kind of see where that line is, especially in, like right here, but there's no point. It's all blended in. And also, this is not the camera I'm going to be using for the tutorial. This is going to be like a purple, purple smoky look. Um, so I'm not so much blending right now as I am packing and really loading up that brush, meaning I'm really pressing into the shadows to really pack on that color. And you don't have to go high up um, because we're going to be building, you know, so it's always better to do a little bit less and then build up and do more. Um, the second part with a darker smoky eye that's really important before you start getting into your liner is what you're going to do with this outside corner because all these three areas are going to connect your bottom lash line, your corner, and your creased area right here. So I'm actually kind of drawing on a liner with this black uh, shadow, just um, going from the outside in but not really going too much past the middle point of my eye. And I'm going upwards, just drawing, drawing on an angled look. Now this is the important next step, is the blending. Blend, blend, blend. Uh, I think there's a YouTuber named, his channel's called Encore. I should put the link, he's great, but his whole saying is blend, blend, blend. Um, and that's what we're going to do. This is the brush I'm using. Um, it's actually my first time using it. I've been using the um, fluffy, the brush that looks like this. I believe this is the 217. Um, but this one is the 222. And it's, I always use circular motions when I get to the outer part of the eye. So like right in the top area, I'm doing the windshield motions, windshield wiper motions. In the outer part, I'm doing a circular motion. I don't know what the heck to call that motion. Like a half moon motion or something? I have no idea. I'm like going like this and this. I'm not pressing hard. I'm really letting the bristles do the work for me. That's the whole point, is um, you pay this big money for these brushes, let them do their job, you know. So that's um, pretty much the shape that I have so far. Get your highlighter out of the way before you start doing your liner. Um, that's just my, how I do it, but you don't have to. I just, I like to get it out of the way. Um, for this look, to add some dimension to it, some depth, I'm going to be using a technique called foiling. And foiling um, is a technique that artists use to basically take a pigment powder, like this MAC uh, Violet pigment powder, and foil it on by dampening your brush. Now, I'm going to be using a small brush. Remember, small areas, small brush, big areas, big brush. Small areas, so I'm going to be using this type of brush, and I'm going to be using some Fix Plus spray from MAC if you don't have that try water, um, and you just spray some like that onto your brush, and we're going to be packing it into the, I just put my shadow in a cap, um, packing it into that, into, uh, packing the pigment into your bristles and putting that on your eye using those same, like, almost blotting uh, motions. Not so much spreading, we're just blotting. The moisture does a couple things. A, it prevents fallout. Um, you're still going to get some because all pigments are a little bit messy, but it really prevents that fallout and it really brightens the color. It almost gives it that foil type of look, that really shiny, metallic, intense look. 
and that does a really wonderful job of adding dimension. It pops, you know, it makes a purple appear very purple. It makes, you know, a shimmer even more shimmery. So I'm going to put my pigment away um, before I spill it. <laughs> and this is the part I think that you're really curious about, um, is the lining part. Liner that's uh, obviously on, but does not look like a harsh line. A couple things. Um, the thing, the what you're going to need is a creamy liner. Um, invest the money in getting yourself a good one. I'm using Urban Decay's uh, liner, and this is in zero. Now, um, Mac has a liner. I think Engraved is the name of it. Um, go to your local Mac counter. Explain to them, or your local cosmetics co counter, or go online. You know, explain to them. I need a creamy. Uh, I need a creamy liner with what they call playtime. Um, you want to be able to move it around. And every liner has their own different time setting schedule, I guess you could call it. Basically, um, when you put on your liner, that's the amount of time you have before it sets for the day. Some liners never set, um, and that's problematic. Uh, some, well, it can be if that's if you don't want that look. Um, you know, if you want that real dewy, kind of smeared smudge look, then yeah, you probably want a liner that doesn't really set that that much, if at all. Um, but this kind of look, I do want it to set, and I, but I do want a, a lot of blending time because we're going to be putting shadow over the liner and moving it around. So I'm just going to talk you through it. I'm going to start on the outside of my eye and where I start, um, kind of where the shadow ends because we're all going to blend that together. So we're going to start at the shadow and make it kind of thick and then get as we move in closer to our nose, we're going to get thin with it. It does not have to be perfect. Don't drive yourself crazy getting a perfect line because we're going to blend it. Let go. That's what I say. Let go. You know, I used to be, especially when you're used to liquid liner, you're very precise. Um, let it go. Don't think that way. This is a whole other way of doing it. So gently pulling on my eye. You don't want to go like that because that's going to um, probably cause you some wrinkles and it changes the, it's going to change the way the liner looks in the end result. You get a little bit more realistic idea of what your liner is going to look like if you just gently pull on your lid. And I'm crossing over with my hands. My drawing hand, I'm left-handed, but my drawing hand is on the outside. My the, uh, the hand that I'm gently pulling on my eye with is underneath. Alright, so let's get started. Um, hopefully you can see this pretty clearly. I'm really zoomed in close. I'm using back and forth motions. And I'm just working my way inwards. I try to go slower around here because it it can get tricky. If you go fast, you'll make a harsh a line that'll probably fly off into no man's land on your eyes. So you just go slow, take your time, you know, there's no rush, hopefully. Now I'm switching the angle of my liner, turning it this way, switching my grip on my pencil. Sorry I'm left-handed, and this is all backwards for you guys, but, um, again, using the back and forth motions. If you find you're having trouble, one of the main, um, things is that your pencil may not be sharp, and in my case, um, mine's getting dull, so have your sharpener with you and get that really fine point on your pencil. It'll save you a lot of trouble, believe me. And then start again. I don't know if you can see what a difference that just made. So that's the line that I have, okay? Next part. And you might want to uh, go over the very outside too. Because we want that to be a slightly tacky. We're going to switch brushes. Um, you could use a flat brush like this. You could use the MAC 217, uh, I'm sorry, 219 brush like this. You could use a dense brush, the one that we foiled with. You could use an angled brush. 
whatever works best for you. Um, I'm going to be using this brush right here. I normally would probably use this brush, because, but I've got purple on it. So what I'm going to do next is find my palette. Where did you go, palette? That's weird. I'll just use a different one. Um, different black doesn't matter, I guess. I'm switching to a black color. Dipping my brush in the black. Make sure to tap off your excess to prevent some fallout. We're just going to be going over what we just did. Back and forth motions. Um, and again, the whole idea is we don't want to be exactly precise. That's not the point. Ouch. And I just poke myself in the eye. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> There's what not to do. If it's any excuse, this is my first time using this brush, so that's probably why. So there we have it right now. Um, see it towards the outside? I'm just kind of moving it around. I'm not being specific. I'm moving it around. And so we've got liner on our eyes, but it doesn't look like a harsh line. And at the outside here, there's no, you know, there's no harsh line. What you can do also, if you really want that to be really dark in your crease, go over it with your pencil and just, I'm just not, I'm not even drawing a line, I'm just kind of dotting it on there. Going back in with my, um, with my 219 brush, dipping it in the product in the black, and just moving it around using those circular motions. If you feel that that's not blended enough, you know, switch back to your brush. Blend it out some more. Blend, 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 like Encore says. And um, I'm going to wipe out my fallout. Now we're going to focus on the underneath part to really bring this all together. Um, this is my eye that I just finished. And what we're going to do is, um, how I did for this look, since I've got purple on the top, is Urban Decay's got this purple liner called uh, Ransom. And the first thing I'm going to do is just briefly draw a purple line um, on the bottom of my lid. And this is doing nothing more. Well, it's going to do, obviously, it's drawing purple on my lid, but I'm going to actually use this to uh, act as a base for my um, shadow. Sorry, it's really hard to do this um, with a camera. Maybe if I zoom out a little bit. Okay, so once we've got that purple on there, I'm just using a small brush, and I'm going to pack on my purple shadow and just go over that. Now what we're going to do, and this is what's going to really bring it all together, go over your, take your black that you used for the top, this black and start on the outside. We're gonna what we're doing right now is connecting the black on the top right here to the black on the bottom. I'm not going all the way in with it. And now here's a key. Keep following that your line from your bottom and go slightly upwards to on your top lash line and connect it. Now here's the key. While it's still tacky, get that. Load up your a brush like this with your two or with your um, black shadow, and go over that. And we're gonna blend it. Make sure to tap out your excess. Move it around now. See at the top here how I'm, those circular motions. I'm doing like what? What is that? A C. I'm doing a C motion. We've connected the bottom of the top using no liquid liner, and if I turn to the side, there's no harsh lines. It's all a shadow. It's all an illusion. 